name's Tony and welcome back to Predicted and this is Two Minute Tuesday. In today's episode, Immortals 1871, which is their interpretation of Roja Dove's Elysium. I wanted a challenge for this week's Two Minute Tuesday and I think this is perfect for that. So let me just run through some of the notes as I give this a little spray. In the top we have grapefruit, lime, lavender, thyme, artemisia, musk, lemon and bergamot. In the mid we have jasmine, lily of the valley, apple, blackcurrant and rose. And in the base we have ambergris, musk, vetiver, cypriol, cedar, pink pepper, juniper, benzoin, leather, vanilla and labdanum. As you can see, lots of different notes in there, lots of different ingredients. On the website, this is £27 for a 50 ml, so it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other fragrances that Perfume Parlour do. So I would recommend getting a smaller bottle to start with to see if you like it, and then maybe buy the bigger bottle if you do. I went straight to the big bottle because I got to try this in store. I also featured this in my Best Perfume Parlour haul ever. Watch that video if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link here. How would I explain this? This is very citrusy, it's slightly floral, and it's got some creaminess and some thickness to it that comes from, I think, all of the different ingredients together. It, I can pick out, in the opening, I get lime, I get the grapefruit, and I get the lemon, I get a little bit of the lavender. In the mid, jumping out at me, you get a little bit of the jasmine, you get a little bit of the rose. You definitely pick up on the blackcurrant. This has been compared on the reviews on the Perfume Parlor website to Creed Aventus. I can see why someone might get that vibe from it. I personally don't, but I can see where they're coming from because you're getting the grapefruit and the blackcurrant, which, and then you're getting the slightly woodsy, deeper, musky dry down that Aventus would give you. Do I enjoy it? Yes, I do. Do I recommend it? 100%. It's to me a 7 to 8 out of 10, so let's go 7.5. I'm enjoying it so far. It lasts a long time. It's versatile. It can be worn in all seasons. Just quickly, I'm sorry if this just runs over two minutes slightly. I just want to mention this. It's always intrigued me. Roja Dove's fragrances are always packed with ingredients and listening to the reviews and watching people's reactions to smelling especially his new stuff people seem to really love it and he seems like he's a very skilled perfumer so he's probably able to achieve putting all these different notes in to create something quite beautiful but I did always wonder if he wasn't so skilled would it be something like mixing paint so if you're a an artist and you put two different colours together, maybe sometimes three, depending on how much you put of one thing or another, you can you create a completely new colour. But if you put too many colours in the mix, it becomes brown. And I've always wondered if you put too many notes together, does it become a brown fragrance? Does it just become this concoction of something that is very difficult to comprehend? If you do know a bit more about this, put it in the comments and we'll have a discussion about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for everyone that's done so and keeps watching. Don't forget to like, 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 like. I'll see you in the next video. This has been Two Minute Tuesday. Don't forget to keep smelling wonderful.